Um, so I'm going to invite my colleague Ryan Chan to actually uh, speak next because he is calling from Toronto and it is getting a little bit late there. Um, so Ryan is uh, with the Chinese Canadian National Council for Social Justice. Uh, CCNCSJ was formed in 2019 as a revival of the original Chinese Canadian National Council, uh, which um, really helped to address some of the systemic racism that Canadian Chinese were facing, especially in media representation. Um, Ryan is a social advocate who has a legal background from the University of Toronto. He's committed to affecting social change and also serves on the board of directors at the Federation of Asian Canadian Lawyers. Uh, and he used to work as a consultant. He works as a consultant with the World Wildlife uh, Fund Canada. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much for staying on. We really appreciate having you here today. Uh, it's all yours. No, thank you so much for having me. And, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity to learn from my colleagues and, you know, just kind of introduce, uh, introduce, you know, this kind of closing um, for this amazing event. And, you know, I just want to say, like, first of all, that, um, you know, it really is a privilege to see um, all these really brilliant speakers and like how much substantive work uh, they're really bringing. And, you know, I, I was going to have a speech a little bit like Erin's, um, but, you know, really, she's she's really covered the issue about Toronto's demographics and, um, you know, the urban forest distribution. And so really like, you know, I, I want to emphasize as someone who comes from, uh, you know, the Asian social justice field, this issue of um, environmentalism and anti-racism work really goes hand in hand, right? So for example, like the Asian community in particular faces this uh, particular stereotype of, you know, the model minority myth, this idea that we're buying up all the land and, you know, we're evil foreigners who are here to, you know, take what's rightfully, you know, real Canadians, um, you know, resources and land. Um, and this idea that, you know, we're all like incredibly, incredibly wealthy is, is, is a myth because um, statistically actually, uh, you know, we have an August 2020 labor force survey, uh, racialized communities suffer much higher national unemployment rates. And, you know, for example, South Asian and Chinese um, immigrants and uh, uh, communities actually uh, suffer much higher uh, unemployment rates. South Asian communities are 9.1% points above the national average and Chinese uh, communities are 8.4 percentage points higher. Um, so, you know, we have extremely high levels of poverty and unemployment. And uh, as, you know, as Erin noted, uh, the issue of like racial, uh, of environmental justice is like highly, highly racialized because what you have is these poor communities um, having less access to green spaces. And this is increasingly an issue because in Toronto, statistically, it actually shows that diverse communities or you know, ethnic enclaves, um, you know, this is a nice way of putting like racial segregation is becoming a worse and worse problem. So when you have this worsening socioeconomic enclaves of like racialized communities combined with the fact that Sorry. Uh, combined with the fact that um, these poor racialized communities are not getting access to, um, you know, green spaces and other uh, environmental resources, uh, we have a real problem. And so, you know, I, you know, not to be all doom and gloom, I, I really want to emphasize that, particularly for racialized communities, we're talking about like immigrant communities, new settlers, the need for youth and youth activists is just so incredibly high because, you know, it's it's people like us here, right? It's people who are doing the work on the ground, who's doing this research, that is going to be able to bridge the gap between new immigrants and the rest of, you know, Canada, right? It's to be able to overcome some of these language, these cultural barriers, to be able to help. Um, help community members within our racialized communities get involved to understand the issues, to advocate for what, you know, for, for better living conditions. It, it's just so incredibly important. So, you know, I just wanted to close it off by saying that thank you so much to everyone for participating in this event. Uh, and, you know, there's much more work to be done, but I'm really, really glad that uh, you're all here to do it with us. Thank you so much, Ryan. Appreciate hearing it. Always great to see you and have your perspective as part of um, our, our community and our events. Uh, again, like it was well said, and uh, 
to highlight that role is, of social justice is one that has to be done no matter what we talk about, because so many of those challenges come from there. Um, so again, you know, it's appreciated, bro. Thank you so much for uh, being here tonight and look forward to carrying on this conversation. Um, thank you, Ryan.